This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... That is a radical ideology in my opinion. First arrest, right? Ever? It was my first arrest ever. Yeah. Did you cry at your first arrest, Ian? No. Okay, I just want to see. Okay, well, <laughs> it was it was scary because there were these men yes. that yeah. I did not know, and it's not like any of my friends could do anything about it right. because if they did, they could get killed, be shot yeah. to death. Hi, everybody. It, it, it's, it's, you, you, like, you understand the violence of the system on a whole new level when they're actually putting the handcuffs on you. And saying that you're a dangerous person. And, like you were, yes, and <laughs> telling me that I was one of those dangerous people. Uh, and so the same police officer, when we pulled into the garage, literally a block away from, <laughs> from Veterans Park. Um, you could have just walked you there. And what was this, two years ago? How long ago this? Was was this was October 2011. Okay, so about a year and a half. Yes. And uh, you and some others were in Manchester's Veterans Park. There was some Occupy going on. The police had kind of left it alone for a few days. And then uh, they came in and they demanded that you leave. And they said that if you don't leave, we're going to arrest you. They gave it, you know, they gave everybody a chance to leave, and a bunch of people did, unfortunately. Uh, and I then, did, in fact. You did leave. I did leave. And then came back. Yeah, I, I said to myself, I'm not. My first arrest is not going to be on behalf of Occupy New Hampshire. I had only been part of it for five days. I wasn't that emotionally invested in it. And so when the police showed up, I left. And then I'm walking to the car to my car and talking to myself uh, and I realized that if I left I would regret it and mm. that I didn't come to New Hampshire to be pushed around by bullies and so wow, I great. you know sighed a deep sigh Here and we go. <laughs> turned around and went back yeah so I missed the whole part where they lined up to get their tickets which was a little ridiculous so these are the people who uh, right. were... And you weren't completely on board with everything that the occupiers were doing in Manchester. You went there to have a conversation with them. Well, there was a big... Every Occupy movement was its own thing. So even though I disagreed with like the manifesto that had come out of Occupy Wall Street, Occupy New Hampshire was just beginning. So we could make it whatever we wanted. Mm -hmm. And myself and a lot of other free staters wanted to make sure that a voluntary solutions were part of the conversation. And we did that. And we made a lot of friends um, great friends who've really great become supporters who are here a at pork fest yeah. and we're last year too yes and last year too one of them is giving a talk on social media tomorrow uh so it's just it, it really it all turned out for the best um our involvement in occupy new hampshire um yeah and the fact that you stood in solidarity with them i'm sure really helped uh you know build your credibility as well Yeah. You you came back in. You got arrested. Uh, this cop. They put you in the van. A cop makes a statement to you about how bad of a, a person you are. That you know, <laughs> yes. basically he was happy to be taking you off the streets. And uh, and then you arrived at the station, and something else was said to you. Right. So we were in the garage, and the other cop wasn't there anymore. They, you know, the van stopped and the doors opened. No cameras protecting mm -hmm. me anymore. Um, and the, I had tears on my face because I was rather shaken by my kidnapping. And... <laughs> Is it safe to assume that uh, you won't be corresponding with Homeland Security again? That's Dave Minson from the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, meeting with New Hampshire's governor, fighting real ID. 
He's just one of many hundreds who've joined the feisty alliance and are making their mark on state government. Don't let these folks have all the fun. Do what I did. Join the alliance and help us keep the state house in check. NHLiberty.org